Let's continue our discussion on string methods. This is part six of string methods. The first topic is is alpha method. The second topic is is numeric method. The third topic is is lnum method. And after this, we will see one homework problem. So let's start with the first topic, which is is alpha method. So what is is alpha method? Is alpha method returns true if all characters are alphabet. So this means that all characters must lie in the range from A to Z, small a to small z, or capital A to capital Z. Now let's see the syntax of is alpha. We need to put the string first, and then to the string we can apply is alpha method. So string dot is alpha, then after this parentheses should come. Now let's open our command prompt and let's see one example which helps us understand how is alpha function works. For this, we first need to open our command prompt and we need to activate the Python interactive shell. After activating the Python interactive shell, we will be ready to type in the commands here. Let's type this command hello to dot is alpha then parentheses. So we have the string and dot then is alpha method and within parentheses we should not provide any arguments. If we hit enter, we will get false as a result because this is not an alphabet. All other letters are alphabet but this is not an alphabet. Hence, is alpha will return false. Now let's see one more example. This time let's type this command hello I am just breathe dot is alpha. Now what should be the output of this line of code? Think about it. If we hit enter, we will get false as a result. Now why is that the case? It seems like this string consists of all alphabet only. But it is not the case. We have white space characters as well. And white space characters are not alphabet. Hence, this particular line of code will return false. Now let's see one more example. This time let's type hello I am just breathe dot is alpha. Now this time there is no white space. If we hit enter, we will get true as a result because each and every character is an alphabet in this string. I hope the idea of is alpha is completely clear. We need to remember this that is alpha returns true if all characters are alphabet, not even white space characters are allowed. As now we have understood this topic, let's move on to the next topic, which is is numeric method. Now what is is numeric method? Is numeric method returns true if all characters are numbers from 0 to 9. So all characters need to be numbers. The syntax is string dot is numeric, then parentheses, and again within parentheses we do not have to pass any argument. Now let's open our command prompt and let's type this command. 2332324 within double quotes, then dot is numeric, and then parentheses. Remember that the string should not always be wrapped within double quotes, it can be wrapped within single quotes as well. Both are correct in Python. Now this is the string, and we are applying is numeric function on this string. Now what happens in this case? If we hit enter, if we hit enter, we will get true as a result. Now why is that the case? All characters in this string are numbers. We can observe this that each character is a number. Therefore, is numeric function will return true in this case. Let's consider one more example. This time let's type 3.14159 within double quotes and then dot then is numeric and then parentheses. If we hit enter, we'll get false as a result. Now why is that the case? 3.14159 is a number, but this decimal point is not the decimal point within this string. It is a full stop. Is numeric function will return true when all characters are numbers. This is not a number, this is a full stop. Hence, is numeric function in this case is returning false. I hope this is clear. Although it looks like a number, but this decimal point is not a number. This represents full stop in this string. Hence, is numeric function will return false. Now let's move on to the next example. This time we will type 2 divide by 4 dot is numeric and then parentheses. If we hit enter, 
will get false as a result you might think like this will evaluate down to some value but it is not the case this is a string and it will be evaluated as it is so here this divide symbol is not actually a divide symbol this is a backslash in a string therefore is numeric function will return false in this case now let's move on to the next example this time let's type minus 3425 dot is numeric and then parentheses if we hit enter we'll get false as a result now why is that the case here this is minus 3425 it seems like a valid number but this minus is not minus within string it is just a hyphen hence is numeric function will return false in this case i hope the idea of is numeric is completely clear now let's move on to the next topic which is is elm method so what is is elm method is elm method returns true if all characters are alpha numeric as the name itself suggests it has alpha and numeric both so is elm returns true if all characters are alpha numeric the syntax looks like this we first need to type the string then dot then is elm can be applied on that string now let's open the command prompt and let's type this command just pre 20 dot is elm and then these parentheses now if we hit enter we will get true as a result because this string is a combination of alphabet and numbers these are all alphabet and these are digits numbers so is elm in this case returns true let's move on to the next example this time let's type 22324242 this string consists of only numbers if we hit enter we will get true as a result because this string has only numbers and is elm will return true if all characters are either alphabet or numbers or both so in this case we will get true as a result now let's move on to the next example this time let's type just preet dot is elm so here also we will get true as a result because this consists of only alphabet now let's see the last example this time we have this entire string and then is elm if we hit enter we will get false as a result now why is that the case here we have white space characters in between and is elm returns true only when the string consists of alphabet or numbers or both in this string we have alphabet but we also have these white spaces and because of these white spaces is elm will return false I hope this idea is completely clear and this means we are done with these three topics now let's see what is the homework problem of this presentation determine the output for each line of code mentioned below so we have this complete code and now your job is to determine the output of this code but don't go directly into the command prompt and type these commands instead try solving this problem on your own first and then compare your output with the output of the command prompt after getting the answers post your answers in the comment section below so now we have seen the homework problem as well and this means that we are done with all the topics of this presentation okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this presentation i will see you in the next one